champions we got another character guide to do this time it is roman reigns head of the table also with the christmas gear the ugly sweater uh, he's a technician and have a look at five star gold now obviously as you can see there's a little bit of an issue with the character model right now kind of has a melted face so he's a pretty good character to begin with a top character anyway on his own but that christmas gear definitely is a nice upgrade now what does it do well move that steel elt will steal 175 percent more elt not including leeches so also is coachability normally at 9000 blue submission move do 50 percent more damage and blue submission lasts one more turn so the first move set we'll have a look at is the spear a 5 mp green move deal 19.5k damage and choose five gems to destroy the pump handle back suplex is a 7 mp red move deal 37.6k damage and choose a 3 by 2 area to make into trap gems if broken by you gain 5 red mp if broken by your opponent gain 75 uh, deal 75.3k damage the Samoan drop, 8 MP red move, deal 45,000 damage, 45.7 thousand damage, and deal up, steal up to 155.4k health. Trainers will use for that. Butch, so that we start with more reds. Zombie rock, so that the steal is going to be increased by 75. Zombie Daniel Bryan, so that the steal is going to be increased by 31. And Zombie Valor, so that the steal is going to be... Uh, increase by 10 percent more that makes or steel of 336 thousand health plus the 175 percent from the gear which is on the base but still is going to be a lot so don't really care about the spear itself pretty much both reds are going to cycle each other uh, but it's a nice bonus to have there so let's have a look Okay. All right. So we're gonna do the L steel. This ear. Gonna get our red back. some damage to us we're gonna steal more health 607 we're stealing every time oh, i'm gonna put the traps here i'm gonna pick Five gems to destroy. Those two, obviously. And uh, let's go with some extra reds and green. Don't need that many traps, and I'm already getting those I need from the egg gem. So I kind of want to have traps stay on the board so that he can break them they do a decent amount of damage to him if he breaks him. I don't really care how much damage he does to me because I'm healing 607,000 every turn. He broke a trap, so he damaged himself. One. 
Okay, well, we're gonna EL back while taking his ult. Go, we're back to 100%. Put this here. Pick five gems to destroy. This one here is gonna get those two. This one here is gonna get those two. And let's get some extras. Actually, this one we're already getting. And he's out. And we're for a full out. So that is definitely really effective. And now let's have a look at something else. All right, second move set for Roman. This one not really using the shirt as there won't be a elt steel move. It is the guillotine 11 MP green move color submission. Choose four gems to make into green submission gems and do 12K damage for nine turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength five. The spear 5 MP green move deals 19.5k damage and choose 5 gems to destroy. And the leaping clothesline 7 MP blue move deals 34.3k damage and choose a 2x3 area to swap into green gems. Trainers we're going to be using for that Lawler to start with more blue. You could use steel too, but you're kind of going to do better if you use Lawler. Uh, using Austin 316 so that uh, any color submission move will do 50% more damage. You could use Trickster Brace so that it lasts 3 more turns, but we're already at 10 turns. We don't really need more. Uh, you could use also KO, uh, not KO, uh, Kurt Angle Tech that would also increase by 50%. So may as well use Austin because this one's leveled. Uh, using Acro Shelton so that any color submission will do 20% more damage. Bruno so that green submission do 50% more damage and green submission move lasts one more turn. You could uh, alternatively use J Uso Acro which also increase green submission by 10% and move damage by 10% but I mean our spear damage is already nothing here so it doesn't really matter for that. All right let's do this. I did switch the plate on the belt for a cheap shot instead of the dx one i add that way we're not going to keep making x's because that might skew out the results all right so let's make more greens Uh, I'm gonna put it here because I just want one match. There you go. I'm not gonna use the one to destroy because I'm gonna use it to reload my uh, blue. Actually, I could use it now because I'm gonna reload it anyway. Yeah, let's use it, but I'm only gonna use three because again, I don't want my turn to end. If I use four, it will. There you go. So it's still my turn because I'm going to reload the move anyway with this. So I'm going to make two matches. That's going to give me all the greens I need. And the remaining ones are going to be the ones that I hope are going to last 10 turns. He probably won't. Because he keeps getting extra turns. Well, it did last. Unfortunately, it's not doing much damage. <laughs> Definitely gonna grab this one. And we're gonna get some blue too. Alright, let's get. 
get out of this. Do another submission. Do those. Since he's not anywhere near doing a move, I'm just going to go for damage this turn. Still pretty far, and okay, we're going to pick again. That multiplier there, and we're gonna grab some blues. Three should be enough. Let's grab this one so that we get those red. Red is still one of my eye color damage. All right, now we're gonna go for the sub. Someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. We got some Amazon stuff. Okay, let's get those. Definitely an effective move set, but oh my god, that makes matches last forever. Okay, go for damage. I got my blue at the same time where I hoped it landed, but I didn't know if it was gonna. Okay, let's do the sub. Okay, let's do some damage on this one. We're gonna grab all greens, well, all multipliers that are greens. And anything else I can cascade? Not really. Grab this, it's gonna grab those four here. Uh, actually, no, it's gonna grab three. Well, it's still gonna work. Three hundred twenty, not even bad. Kicked out. Then another round of submission. This one I'm not even gonna bother to put it somewhere where I'm gonna get green out of. I just want them to survive if possible.
One's gone. Two are gone. Three are gone. Well, that sucked. In my turn. Hoping to have them remain. Good. Let's get out of this. Try to get the win on this turn. There you go. All right. I mean, that was an easy match, but that was painfully long. Now let's have a look at what is usually my favorite move set. Although I haven't tried it at five star gold, so let's see if it's still my favorite move set. All right, what uh, used to be my favorite moveset, let's see if it still is. It is the Superman Punch 10 MP green move finisher deals 75.5k plus 13.5k bonus damage for every botch gems and pin the opponent. The Leaping Clothesline 7 MP blue move deal 34.3k damage and choose a 2x3 area to swap into greens. And the open and uppercut 1 MP blue move deal 3700 damage and modify a 2x6 random area into botch gems. Trainers we're going to use for that. Lawler so that we start with more blue. Seamus so that our botch gems are going to do 35% more damage. Uh, this increasing the amount from the finisher right there. Uh, Shayna for the same reason 15%. Uh, and uh, generates one more, but in this case won't be generating any more, but we'll keep that 15% and blue blood does the exact same thing 15% plus one, but we don't get the plus one. We keep this 15% But one thing that's pretty important for this move set is the Anki Tonk man plate It makes it so that whenever you break three greens you get three blues now I don't really care about getting three blues, but I do care about getting one blue that does well three blues are nice because it kind of helps getting your uh, leaping clothesline back still but uh, it does make it so that you can use your uppercut twice in the same turn making your finisher it for a lot more so let's do that again the gear has zero effect on this move set right Start by putting little botch gems. Okay. Now, man, there's greens everywhere. Where can I put that to be safe? Hopefully, really no good spot to put them. I'm gonna hit something wherever I put them. Guess I'll try here and just hope that it doesn't put the uh, extra uh, wild card in there. I mean, 
better. That was a pretty bad board to start with. I was pretty much screwed wherever I was gonna put it. Slay another batch. There's only eight that remains. Alright. Let's try that again. Again, this spot would have been nice, but I got damn greens everywhere. And if I put it there, well, then it can connect to those yellow, or it can connect to those yellow, or it can connect to those blue. I'm just going to have to put it somewhere right here, but no, then it can connect to those yellow or those yellow. Come on, board, work with me. Alright. I had to sacrifice a few botch gems, but... Landing on top of those already had. That ain't good. Come on. You should get out of that. Well, he should have, but he did not. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I mean, that was my favorite moveset with uh, Roman. Uh, I'd say definitely isn't anymore uh, if I get the gear. If I get the gear, the first moveset is definitely a lot more reliable now. Uh, this does rely a lot on luck. And you kind of need a hunky-tonk plate too. But uh, yeah, that's it for Roman, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. See ya. Ciao.